The shoulder clot originates from the chuck region of the front quarter. It is made up of many muscles. The smaller teres major, the trapezius, latissimus dorsi, infraspinatus, the triceps brachii long head, and has a total weight range of 2.75 to over 4.54 kilograms, or 6 to 10 pounds. A multi-purpose muscle that, when prepared properly, is suited for a number of cooking applications, which include braising, simmering, roasting, hot roasting, sautéing, grilling, and rotisserie. Begin by removing any loose meat and heavy sinew. Traditionally, we would tie the blade end into roasts and begin to cut steaks. In order to offer a specific weight range, we're forced to work strictly with fluctuating thicknesses. However, the thinner the steak, the less flexibility there is in managing cooking doneness. Cutting boneless cross-rib simmering steaks provides little opportunity for variety, which could only be achieved through varying thickness in an attempt to meet the needs of the consumer. In order to create products that will meet consumer needs, as well as offer retail merchandising options that address portion sizes and cooking methods, begin by removing the terrace major. You can view merchandising options for the terrace major in this series. Clean the surface of excess fat and connective tissue. Remove this side muscle. It's perfect for stew beef. There are two parts to a shoulder heart clot, the shoulder top and the shoulder center. A thick connective tissue separates these muscles, thicker at the exposed end and gradually becomes thinner the further it continues inside the muscle. Remove this tissue by carefully following the seam. Keep your knife as close to the seam as possible. Once you're about half to three quarters through the connective tissue, it thins out enough so that you can remove the top portion. You now can remove the tissue. Simply fill it out. Notice the grain direction of the center muscle. You can leave it whole for a roast or portion across the grain for steaks. With the top portion, remove any surface fat and visible connective tissue. Identify grain direction, create a roast or portion across for steaks. To create grilling medallions or roasts, once you have separated the top shoulder from the center shoulder and removed the connective tissue and fat, simply split the muscle lengthwise, in half or in three following the natural grain. Pull the split muscles through a netting system. You now have the opportunity to create grilling medallions and control the size of your roast while ensuring proper grain direction is maintained for consumers to carve at home. The smaller section is perfect for the lighter occasional consumers who prefer smaller roasts and grilling medallion steaks. Once again, variety is key. Processing larger portions into smaller ones will provide you with options to deliver on consumer needs.